Hey friends, um, coming at you here Friday night. I got in today my SK450 frame for my quadcopter from HobbyKing.com. Um, a really cool frame. Um, you know, I, I did some research. Well, I didn't do research. I looked around, browsed around on their site, and found something that. Uh, one I liked, two they had in stock in the U.S. warehouse because I hate waiting for things to come out of China and the shipping sucks. Um, and since the U.S. warehouse is in Washington and I live in Washington, I get things a lot quicker. Um, so here is the SK450 frame. Uh, it's a 450 millimeter tip to tip frame um, I don't know if it's tip to tip or center of shaft to center of shaft um, I don't know how they they do that I don't have a ruler long enough in millimeters to actually measure the thing so I'm just going to take their word for it um, really solid frame uh, from what I've seen everything is replaceable um, it, you know, it kind of reminds me of like the DJI um, flame wheel frame you know I mean everything is bolts together if you have a hard landing or a crash and you break something the components are replaceable so your motor mounts um, your center hub pieces your landing skids your booms you break it you can replace it um, so far, I like it. Uh, I'm waiting. Well, they were delivered today. Since no one was home, the post office took them back. i got to go pick them up tomorrow. Um, the Trinity Multi-Star Blade 350 QX uh, drop-in replacement motors. Um, I'll, I'll go get to, <coughs> I will go get those in the morning. Sorry, I'm trying to talk too damn fast. Um, so, I just thought I'd do a quick review of the frame itself. And then tomorrow when I get the motors... I will do a review on the motors, um, and then I'll go ahead and, and bolt everything up and, and see how she goes. Um, there's a few things that I really like about this frame, just from having a once-over on it, you know, putting it together. Um, the one thing that I really do like is all of the screws. And let me get my light here just a little bit better. Okay. Oh, it's kind of bright, so. Um, all the screws screw into metal so you're not stripping out plastic you're not worrying about any of that stuff um, go ahead and toss a little bit of blue loctite on them keeps everything tight um, the motor mounts I don't know if you can see okay right there at that angle um, there's actually six mounting holes for the motor mounts however uh, and you could do five, you could do you could do four, you could do the three like I've got. Um, if you have this, the landing skids on it, you won't be able to use this hole right here. Because, well, that's kind of integral to the skid. So you've got to use that hole. And this one is that guy right there. Um, so I kind of OCD so I went for the symmetrical look and we just did the three um, whatever one thing I don't like about these so these motor mounts are fit to 16 and 19 millimeter uh, mounting holes so you've got the 16 this way and the 19 this way um, one thing that they could have done is they actually could have slotted the holes so that you had you can do all four holes, uh, all four mounting screws, which just because I'm OCD, I would like to have that option to do all four um, instead of just the two, but it is what it is. Um, so the way this kind of works is you have your bottom plate, your middle plate, and your top plate. The bottom plate and the middle plate sandwich the booms together. Um, and there's on the middle plate there's four screws for each boom and then on the bottom plate there's just two angles okay 
Um, and the top plate actually has, you can see them here, these four standoffs. The standoffs have a little bit of a bolt at the end of it, and there's a nut that screws on on the bottom of the middle plate. Um, the standoffs are plastic and the nuts are plastic. So when I started tightening them together, I didn't really think about it too much. I over tightened one of them, started stripping it out. So I ended up doing is taking super glue, coating the threads, slapping it together, letting the super glue set up, um, and just you know making sure it was tight enough, not over tight. Um, but then there's four screws that hold the top plate to the standoff. They're metal screws going into a plastic standoff. Uh, I don't know if Horizon was just a little bit lazy in that regards. Um, it is what it is. The other thing that I really like about this, so on the booms, you see right here there's this little notch where the bottom plate attaches. That's for your wires going out to your ESCs so that you can run the ESCs along the bottom side of the boom. It gives a little bit cleaner look um, so you don't have wires you know, poking out around, coming through. You can just fish them right through the notch and uh, zip tie your ESCs to the bottom of the boom, which is kind of nice. Um, another thing that I don't know if I like or not, it, but it just came with it. Um, so you got these fiberglass rods and this little it's almost like a Nerf ball type of deal. Um, and that slides. So when it comes to you, you get two of these rods and the ball. Now the ball is for orientation. Um, so if you don't know how to fly a quad, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but so there's, in these skids, there's this little hole right here. And so you take the rod, pop the rod in there. Whoa, that was that was almost bad. Um, and then pop into the other side. So then you've got this ball up here. So when you're up in the air, you can tell which way you're oriented. Now, for some odd reason, they also said that these were like um, like crash protectors or so. I can't remember what they they called the rod itself. Um, they had some crazy thing, but it's not like, it's not like a prop guard, uh, you know, because your prop's spinning way out here. So, I don't know, um, I guess for some reason that, okay, that's kind of cool. I mean, yeah, if you bang into something, you know, it'll bounce off, but chances are... Your prop's gonna break off, uh, you know, long before that bumper comes into contact with whatever you hit um, with your props. So I, I just, I don't know. Um, to me, we ain't using them. Now I guess if you wanted to hang something off of it, like say if you were, uh, you know, doing something for Halloween and Say you wanted to suspend a ghost from the bottom of your quad, I don't know. Um, you might be able to hang something off of them. Um, so, this is the SK450 frame. Um, one thing that I do like is, aside from being able to just order the, the replacement parts, you know, say I'm like the 350QX where <clears throat> if you break a body half, you got to buy the whole damn half, and then you got 44 screws plus all the... It's a waste of time. Um, each boom, so there's four holding on the middle plate, one holding the bottom plate, um, three on the motor mounts, and then two on the skids. So you've got six, nine, you got 11 screws if you need to replace that one skid. I mean, if you crack the center hub, then yeah, you're screwed. You gotta strip the whole thing apart. But if you crash and say you had hard landing and you crack a motor mount, that's three screws plus the two screws holding the motor on. 
it's a lot more versatile frame. Um, it's a lot more, you know, it's it's not repairable by any means, but to actually, you know, replace modular. That's the word I was looking for. It's a lot more modular. Um, and it's it's got some upgrades options. If you go to the Hobby King site, to the multi-rotors, and then to the frame parts tab, um, they've got, like, extended skids you can buy for them, which is kind of nice. I think it adds, like, another 200 millimeters um, to your ground clearance. So if you wanted to hang a camera gimbal or what have you underneath, um, you know, you have that option. Um, oh, and that's one of the things, one of the last things that I don't like about this frame. So I've got my Velcro on. I have my battery on. <clears throat> I like to put a strip of Velcro on the battery and then on whatever plate. Uh, you know, I mean, if it's an exposed frame like this, This gap right here kind of prohibits me from putting my Velcro on. I don't know. I'm a little bit sad about that. Uh, I will probably get over it. But in the meantime, uh, like I said, in the morning, I'm going to go pick up my new Turnitin Multi-Star Rotors for motors from the post office. Get them reviewed. Get them on the quad. Um, start putting the electronics on and then uh, hopefully sometime tomorrow if the weather's good get her up and go flying um, so extreme carbon fiber props from helipartsdirect.com uh, they're a great buy you can get them for pretty dang cheap uh, with shipping I think you're looking at right about 40 bucks for two pairs um, great stuff the Hobby King SK450 quad frame from HobbyKing.com. And then, uh, oh yeah, if you like the video, give her a thumbs up. Click subscribe, whichever side it's on. I don't know. Um, and check out, uh, what is it, the Blade350QX owners group on Facebook. Uh, until then. We'll see you next time.